What's going on guys? Welcome to week 11. We're going to take a little mid-season look at top 25, Heisman watch, that type of thing. So let's just go ahead and uh, jump right in. So we are sitting at number three in the polls this week behind Penn State and Ohio State. Uh, but those two teams do play each other this week, so we should move up at least one spot if we get the win. Um, Oklahoma is at 8-0. Uh, Oregon's at 9-0. and uh, Those guys are both at 4-5. and Alabama, the top-ranked one-loss team, uh, followed by Georgia. Florida at 6-2 and uh, is up there because they just got the win over Georgia last week. Um, North Carolina at 7-1. and um, Nothing really odd or anything here we've got some group of five teams further down in the polls uh, but let's go ahead and look at the Heisman watch so as I've been trying to get Coley to um, get the Heisman stats he's end up having you know more turnovers and stuff than I would have liked but Brandy Campbell has uh, quietly climbed up to number three in the Heisman polls especially after his 176 yard game last week three touchdowns uh, so Maybe we need to start feeding him more and see if we can get him to win it. Here's the conference standings here for the Big 12. We've got a matchup against Texas Tech, which is likely going to determine which one of us goes to the Big 12 championship game. Uh, on the other side, we've got Utah at uh, in the top spot at 4-1 and one over Kansas State. I think they have the head-to-head -head over Kansas State. Uh, yeah, they're the only team to beat Kansas State this year. Um, so they do have the um, tiebreaker, uh, but still, you know, quite a bit of season left. So we'll see how that shakes out. All right, here's the stats for our Week 11 matchup at home against Texas Tech. Uh, we do have the advantage in quite a few categories, um, but they are number four in the nation in pass offense, which is scary because our pass defense is number 85. Uh, but I think we said that last year and ended up holding them to like, I don't know, less than 200 yards passing. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, hope for the best. We're going to go into this one and uh, try to outscore them, I think. It is week 11. We've got Texas Tech at home. Texas Tech having a great season so far. Uh, coming in trying to upset us. Uh, we're going to hit the highlights. Let's get this train rolling. First play from scrimmage. Texas Tech with the ball first. Morton over to the left side. And Jalen Emery's going to get the pick. Steps out of bounds for some reason. But we're going to get the ball right back. Eight seconds into this ball game. Third and goal later on our first drive. Coley over the middle to Carnes. He dives for the end zone. He's going to get in for a touchdown. That's going to make it 7-0. Early first quarter. Great start for our team. Next drive for us after a three and out by, eight, uh, by Texas Tech. Coley on the option pitch to Campbell. He's got the corner. He gets in for an 18-yard touchdown. Going to be 14-0. Early second quarter. Texas Tech's going to get on the board with three points. Next drive for us in the red zone. Coley on the option pitch again to Campbell, this time to the right side. He gets in the corner for a 12-yard touchdown, 21-3 here early in the second quarter. Next drive for us, Coley looking across the middle. He's going to get picked off by Kraus for Texas Tech. The big linebacker is going to pick it off over the middle. They're going to get the ball back and... Um, end up punting it back to us. Campbell running up the middle here late in the second quarter. He's able to get in for a big 17-yard run with 36 seconds left on the clock. Five seconds left going forward on fourth down, and he's going to get sacked. That gives us the ball with three seconds left. Coley's going to have a chance to chuck one deep before halftime, and he's got a man. Manjack has a step, and he gets in. He's tripped up, but he falls into the end zone. 48 yards on the touchdown. And we're going to have a 35-3 lead here in the set in the uh, second half. Next drive for us finds Manjack again on the corner route that time for a touchdown and it's 42 to 3. Finds Donato over the middle on our next drive, it's 49 to 3. This thing's getting ugly. Backup quarterback in after an injury for Texas Tech and he's going to throw a pick to Emory, his second interception of the game. We've got the ball right back here late third quarter option keeper for Coley he's gonna roll out left and he pitches it to Donato who spins and breaks a tackle he gets into the end zone Joseph Donato with a 14 yard rushing touchdown 56 to 3 next drive for us middle of the fourth quarter 
Backups are in. Drag route to Chase Throckmorton. He gets in 63-3 to at this point. Second and 10 for Texas Tech. They're going to launch one deep and look at the catch here by Tyler King. Laying out for that one. Trying to run the clock down. Need one more first down, but Jenkins is thinking end zone, and he gets there. 22 yards on the touchdown run. Brandon Campbell with 155 yards, three touchdowns, 46 yards receiving, and this one was not even close. 70-10 to 10 is the final score, and we're going to move on to uh, week number 12 here in just a moment. Big time stats there. 211 total offense to the number one pass offense in the country. Just great job by our D. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the top 25 matchups here for week 11. So the score here is actually wrong. Washington gets the win over UCLA 35 to 31, I believe. Yeah, you can see here Washington did end up winning this game. I double checked the team schedule and yeah, Washington was the winner. Iowa's going to get the upset over number 18, Illinois, 19-16. Uh, to 16. Indiana is going to take down number 10, Michigan, 24-17. Clemson's going to upset number 16, Florida State, 38-31. Number 9, Kansas State's going to fall to Cincinnati, 38-20. to 20. Number 8, North Carolina is going to get the win over number 14, Miami, 45-24. Number 23, San Diego State falls to Utah State, 26-10. Number one, Penn State just destroys number two, Ohio State, 41 to seven. Georgia State gets a 20 to three win over number 25, Texas State. Vanderbilt's gonna go to seven and three with an upset over number 11, Florida, 31, 27. Number four, Oklahoma gets a 35, 28 win over number 15, Texas A&M. And that's gonna do it for the top 25 matchups. We're gonna go ahead and advance to week 12. Nothing to report this week in terms of recruiting. Um, let's just go ahead and jump into week 12 in this doubleheader. Just an update here. Uh, Brandon Campbell is up to number two on the Heisman watch after his uh, 155 yards, three touchdowns, big game last week. And with a win today, we will clinch our division. All right, it's week 12. We've got a home game again against Arizona State this time, struggling at 2-9 and nine on the season. Looking to get the same result like we had last week against Texas Tech. First drive of the game for Arizona State. They get all the way down the field and end up getting in on a five-yard touchdown run by George Hart the third. They're going to take an early 7-0 lead in this rainy one. A couple drives later for us, Campbell breaks a tackle and he gets some space. He breaks it free down the right sideline. He's got one man to beat. Can he do it? He breaks the tackle and gets in, but he stepped out of bounds at the three. It's going to be first and goal. Next play, handoff. Brandon Campbell, once again, he's in for the touchdown. So we give it right back to him. He gets the points, and we're going to tie this game up at 7. Middle of the second quarter, same score. Beatles gets to McRae for the 8-yard sack on third down. Arizona State's going to take three points here. Next drive for us, Coley rolls out looking. Everybody's covered, but he's going to take it himself. And he gets in on the 2-yard touchdown run. We take a 14-10 lead. Late second quarter, over the middle, TJ Ellis, the big sophomore linebacker, he gets the pick. And we've got a chance to go down and score before halftime, and we're going to do just that. With five seconds left on the clock, Campbell's going to take it in for a touchdown. That gives us a 21-10 lead going into halftime. Trying to feed that ball to Campbell and boost his Heisman rating. Going into the third quarter here on our first drive, Coley rolls out right, sees Burns, throws underthrown, and he drops the ball, so that's going to be 4th and 14. We're going to take the three points. Next drive, 24-10. Coley looking, and just a horrible read there by me. Gets picked off easily, and they get the ball inside the 30, down 14. Second and 10, quarterback looking down the left side, and look at Moses Alexander on the pick in the back of the end zone. Got to take a look at that one again. He hauls it in, gets the foot down, we get the ball back. Next drive for us, pass over the middle to Donato. He gets a big 30-yard gain down to the 5. And a couple plays later on third and goal, Campbell's going to take it in for another rushing touchdown. First and goal next drive, Campbell again up the middle, 5 yards, touchdown. 38-10, here is the score in the fourth quarter. Next drive for Arizona State, McCray drops back, goes out left, and Moses Alexander's got a pick. 
He takes it down to inside the 10. He's brought down, but he does get into the end zone. That's going to be a pick six for Moses Alexander, his second of the season. McCray on their next drive gets it to Freeman, who slips the tackle and gets in the end zone. The scoreboard's completely broken at this point. Um, so I just had to guess when it was time to kneel and got it right. <laughs> so we end up getting out of this one with a big time, uh, I think it was a 45-17 to 17 win. Yeah, and Brandon Campbell once again with a monster game gets player of the game. And we are rolling into the late season, going off to a, uh, I believe we're 10-0 and at this point. Defense didn't have as good of a game as they did last week, but, you know, holding them to 5 of 10 on third down and three turnovers is key. Here are your top 25 matchups for week 12. Number 18, Washington, gets the upset over number 4, Oregon. Hands them their first loss of the season, 41-21. Texas is going to get an upset over number 15, Texas A&M, 34-31 in overtime. Boston College is going to upset number 21, Florida State, 27-17. Navy gets the win over number 22, Oregon State, 31-28. Number 9, Notre Dame, goes to 10-1 with a win over number 25, Cal. Auburn's going to take down number 7, Georgia, 30-28. Eastern Michigan's going to upset Central Michigan, 38-34. Number 19, Kansas State, goes to 8-2 with a 49-17 win over number 12, BYU. And that's going to do it for this week's top 25 matchups. Let's go ahead and advance to week 13. So we do pick up a solid O-lineman with Tavaro Woods this week. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. So Tavaro Woods did scout to a 74, um, 6 foot 4, 301, 88 strength, really good blocking. Just good all-around O-lineman. Going to be great for our team. So that's going to do it for this doubleheader. Week 12 is over. We're on to week 13. Still number two in the country at 10-0. Got an, uh, a road game against Arizona in the next one. We will see you guys tomorrow for that matchup.